Good day, it is Steven Davis here and in this video I want to show you how to create and work with a basic shape in GIMP 2.10.22 I made this video after I struggled a lot to refine a simple shape and the basic thing that you must know when you work with shapes is that GIMP is not designed to be used for a drawing this is on GIMP website on the help page this is very important because if you want to create complicated drawings GIMP is not designed for that GIMP is primarily designed as a photo editing program if you wanted to create a drawing go to a program like Libre Impress uh, or Libre Drawing and then you create your drawing put it in PNG and then uh, import it alternatively you can just import go to the web and import a PNG program there are many other videos about that I just wanted to work on the basic basic thing how must you utilize GIMP given the fact that it's not a drawing program but it still allows you to insert simple shapes the first thing is you must remember to work with uh, the layers and you must insert layers and in this case let us insert more layers uh, simply because I will explain to you now the thing is let us select a layer and then work on that layer if you want to insert a simple shape just go to tools selection and then you can select any of these shapes a rectangle and eclipse these are the basic simple shapes two basic simple shapes and you can also select free select where you create a free drawing some shape let us use a rectangle I'm not going to waste too much time on it and then you just uh, click the fill to click it with a fill or whatever fill color you have the bucket fill click on it and there you have it if you want to you can at this stage change the border this you can do also with circles Go then to stroke selection to use uh, this border. Go to stroke selection and uh, just remember the border will be the color of the uh, foreground, whatever you have it, the shear. So let us make it red in this case. Edit stroke selection and uh, let's make the border a little bit big. solid color and stroke there it is you can also change the, f uh, the inside color but remember this is not necessarily a uh, make that blue or you can also have any other color that you uh, would like to remember to finalize your edits in terms of your shape border shape border you edit by going to edit then stroke selection stroke selection and then let's make it bigger uh, let's keep it pattern and then stroke uh, there it is it also appears that it's not really possible to make the border smaller but you can make it the border bigger in go stroke selection you can make it bigger once 20 stroke but you can't really make it smaller make it 10 Let's see so this is part of the fact that it's not really a drawing program you must also take into consideration that if you deselect everything select none then the stroke here the stroke selection and the stroke part disappear and it's not possible to revoke it uh, and to activate it again if you then want to uh, make this 
shape big or smaller you then go to the layer functions layer and then scale a layer now of course make it be uh, smaller 300 you can also then move the uh, shape by selecting the move uh, tool here because you have the limited abilities to edit the shape if you want to add something a little bit more not too much more then you just click on and create another layer and then uh, maybe do whatever you want on this layer so let's suppose to uh, tools selection tools uh, the rectangle just uh, something there underneath it In this way, if you uh, have a problem with any element, you can simply delete the layer, uh, make it invisible, but you can also delete it. The easiest way to insert and edit a shape in GIMP is simply to go and uh, search for a PNG file online, or in this case, I already uh, downloaded it. And then you insert it. Just want to make that alone visible. And then you simply uh, edit the PNG file. There, the colors, color is selected. Select the bucket fill tool and then just click on the element. Make this color a different color green and then the bucket fill tool thank you very much for watching this video we love constructive comments and criticism please like and share this video